Hey, what's up guys? Nadia and Sands here for another exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. I want to start this video off by thanking everybody. 2,425 people have subscribed to my channel. That is exactly 2,424 people more than I thought. So thank you guys so much. It really means a lot. Everybody who's subscribed and all of you that comment on my channel, thank you. You're the reason I do this in the first place. So today's lesson is gonna be all about the camera shake effect. I briefly touched on this topic in another video I did. Yeah, I'm doing the annotate to another video thing inside of YouTube. You don't have to watch that because today we're gonna to talk about it in depth. So we're gonna cover two types of camera shake today. There's the subtle camera shake, which looks like this. My camera's locked off on a tripod, but as you see, it's kind of drifting around and giving it like a cool handheld feel. And then there's the base quake, earthquake, extreme camera jitter effect, which can only be demonstrated by listening to dubstep. <laughs> So we're gonna cover both of those things today, camera shake tutorials, let's jump right in and get started. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the subtle camera shake. As you see, it's kind of drifting around and giving it like a cool handheld feel. No it's not Ian, why are you lying to me? In the video description below, you will find two links. Link number one is to a free camera shake preset, I recommend downloading that one, obviously. And the second link is to a $29 preset, which I'm gonna show you here today and you can decide if you wanna buy it or not. All right, so let's check out the free preset first, which is just Jarrell's Deadpool handheld camera presets. And this one's pretty cool. So you tool it down and you have for any footage and for oversized footage. And for any footage is just gonna be your standard run of the mill uh, footage here. So we have handheld camera long lens, small camcorder and somewhat steady. And then for oversized footage, we have lots of movement, more movement, more movement smooth and more movement smoothest. So for today's lesson, we are just gonna, I'll show you all three of these to see what they look like. So let's drop in the handheld camera long lens onto this guy. As you see, it's kind of drifting around and giving it like a cool handheld feel. All right, that one's pretty cool. Let's drop on small camcorder. As you see, it's kind of drifting around and giving it like a cool handheld feel. So that one's like way more jittery than the first one. And then let's check out somewhat steady. But, but, but as you see, it's kind of drifting around and giving it like a cool handheld feel. So I like somewhat steady the best uh, out of the free presets. So that's the one that I would go with here. And if you come down here, this is the second link, the $29 link, the rampant real cam handheld presets. And if you come in here, uh, obviously significantly more presets to choose from for $29. It's definitely a deal, go check it out. Uh, but let's drop a couple of those on here. And let's actually see what it's doing. So if you go under effect controls and you uh, you zoom in here, you'll notice that it's basically keyframing every single frame a different position horizontally and vertically and rotation just slightly. So if you just pay attention to these numbers as it's moving. The camera's locked off on a tripod, but as you see, it's kind of drifting around and giving it like a cool handheld feel. So it's not ever really going vertical or horizontal, more than five horizontally or vertically. And by that, I mean 960 by 540 is your frame. So it either goes 965 or 955, and then 545 and 535. It never goes outside of that boundary range. And that's important to getting subtle camera shake. So if you guys wanted to, you can go in and make a keyframe every frame and just move your video slightly around back and forth. But why would you do that when the camera preset is free? So just click the link in the description and go download it. All right, tutorial number two, the base quake, earthquake, camera jitter, extreme effect. So this first bass sound right here, we only want the base quake effect to happen within that time frame. So I'm just gonna cut my clip here, and then I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go to the beginning, and I'm gonna set position, scale, and rotation keyframes. I'm gonna scale this up, and I'm just gonna start moving this around frame by frame for the duration of the clip that I have here. So let's uh, let's really go extreme with this. So we'll rotate it a little bit here, one frame over, scale it up, rotate it this way, move this all the way over here, scale this down slightly. So you're gonna do this for the entire duration of the clip. All right, so let's play that. All right, so it looks pretty good. And then uh, let's go over here and let's type in fast blur in our effects and let's drop a fast blur on this guy as well. And we're gonna set the blurriness at the very beginning of the first keyframe at uh, like 25 repeat edge pixels. And then we're gonna go to the end and set it to zero. So now it's gonna blur at the same time. Nice, 
that looks pretty good. And if you watch my other video for the tutorial, we're gonna click on Fast Blur, Command click on Motion so that both of them are selected. We're gonna right click, Save Preset, and let's go Base Quake, Anchor to In, important, click OK. And then if I wanted to come in and drop this on any other part of this video, so like right here, I would just come into my effects, go to presets, there it is, base quake, drop it right there, here, just like that. So check this out. So it looks pretty good. And then I'll show you guys for this little like uh, rapid fire part right here. If we go into the rampant real cam presets, there's one called, uh, where is it? Action chase explosion earthquake style camera shake. I'm gonna drop that right on this guy and then you'll see. So this one is in similar vein of the Deadpool preset. It's just a little bit more extreme. All right, guys, I just showed you a bunch of cool ways to get some cool camera shake. I hope that it was helpful. Make sure that you guys go download the free preset in the video description. And also, if you really like it, buy the $29 one because it's not very much money to pay for some cool presets. And of course, make your own camera shake from what you've learned today. All right, that about does it for me. My name is Nadia and Sands. Make sure you follow me on social media, on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, at Nadia and Sands obviously. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is why I make videos. I do it all for you guys. Keep asking questions. Keep writing in the comment section about what you want to see me do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Learn how to edit stuff. Wow.